Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a checked repeating pattern in Illustrator. Before we get started, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to create. This is a blue gingham style check pattern and we're going to create that in Illustrator. To create our pattern swatch, we're going to choose File and then New and just create a brand new document. It doesn't really matter how big it is. Now I want to create a rectangle that is twice as wide as it is high. So I'm just going to click on the worksheet here, or the artboard here with the rectangle tool selected. I'm going to make the width half of the height. So I'm going to type 200 for the width and 100 for the height and click OK. And here's my rectangle. Now I want to fill it with a blue color. So let's just select the blue color and let's turn the stroke off so it's an unstroked shape. I want two of these, so I'm just going to hold the Alt key with the Move key and just drag a duplicate away from the original. I'll rotate it by placing my cursor just outside one of the corners of the shape and start rotating it. Hold the Shift key as I do to constrain it to 90 degrees. Now let's just move this into position. Now this is critical that you get these right or else it's not going to work. So I'm going to select over both shapes and I'm going to make sure that their horizontal align right is set on and that their top is set on. So they're perfectly lined up. Now I'm going to select both shapes and I'm going to the Appearance panel. You can get to that by choosing Window and then Appearance. And the reason why is that a gingham pattern has one square that is darker than the others and it's done by overlapping these shapes. So I'm going to click on Opacity and dial down the opacity to around 50% and the result of that is going to be that I'm going to get two lighter squares and then a darker square where these shapes are overlapped. And basically that is my pattern piece. So now that I've got it all selected, let's just make sure it's all selected. Let's go and make our pattern from it. Object, Pattern, Make. I'm just going to click OK because the swatch has been added to the palette. And here are the default pattern options which are a grid pattern. And that's exactly what we want. We want a grid. And because our rectangles were 200 by 100, we need to make sure the width and height are exactly the same as the largest of those two measurements. So just put in 200, 200. In fact, it defaulted to that so I don't need to do anything else. Now that I've created my pattern, I'll click Done. And this is now a pattern in my pattern swatches over here. So here's the pattern. So I can get rid of these rectangles so I don't need them any longer. Let's go and make a rectangle the size of the artboard so that we can test our new pattern. With the fill selected, let's just click on the pattern swatch. And now if this pattern needs sizing, we would choose Object Transform Scale. I'm going to deselect Transform Objects and just leave selected Transform Patterns. And now with the preview turned on, I can make my pattern larger or smaller as required. And when I've got the pattern the way I want it to look, I can just click OK. So there's how to create a pattern that is reminiscent of gingham fabric in Illustrator. And of course this can be applied to more than just a rectangle. You could apply it to something that is more artistic in shape. And of course this blue gingham pattern is the pattern that was used for Dorothy's dress in The Wizard of Oz. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this YouTube video. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.